How's it going? I'm Ryan. Today I'm going to go over the two trades that I took on in MNQ. Um, first, I was gone the past week or so, wasn't too active on the recaps. Uh, I was just not trading the best. I uh, didn't lose a bunch of money. In fact, I actually made some, but um, I was just over trading, taking stupid trades. Um, needed some time to kind of reevaluate and, and get get into a better mindset about trading. Um, so took a little bit of time off, but we're back. Uh, same same regular schedule that we were before. That being said, let's talk about some of the zones I was watching on MNQ, the trades I took, how those played out. So coming into the day, we have this green line, a little bit hard to see, kind of right at the top of this rectangle. That is yesterday's high and we have this red level that is yesterday's low. Then we have these zones. This zone um, is 18, we'll call it 18,794 to 18,810. We have this zone here from 18,760 to 18,750. And this zone down here, 18,704, 18,686 or so. So what was I watching today? Uh, we were kind of chilling right around the all-time high and previous day high. So in the morning, what I wanted to see was either um, I wanted to see us either like pull back and bounce off an area down in here, or break and get continuation to the upside, or potential rejections off uh, all-time high. We got a little bit of all that, um, but in the morning we had some chop and. Only took two quick scalps, but we'll take a look at those. I'm gonna back this up. So this is looking at this morning. We can see market opens. Um, market opened right in here. So this is 7:30 right in here. Um, right when the market opened, we broke above yesterday's high. I was watching this area because you can see we rejected, held as support a few times here, rejected again rejected in the pre-market and then in the morning we had this nice hammer breaking and closing above this level so that's why i was watching is a, a break a retest and then a move up to these pre-market highs that is exactly what i got in on uh, once we closed this candle and we retested on this candle i got in i sold uh right in here so i didn't take it all the way to the to the high um, i gave it a few points Sometimes it doesn't like to hit that exact level, so I always give it a, a few points of wiggle room on M NQ. Um, but overall, it was about a 12-point move. Um, so we got in here, wrote it up to about there. We'll take a look at a lower time frame, and we can examine uh, a little bit better my stop and what I was risking on this trade. So... This is the morning right here where we, we open up and we, you can see, once again, we're holding that previous day high with some hammers. That's when I entered. Um, my target was right in here. Uh, reason being we had some wicks that was close to that top. Uh, so that's where I took the profit. My stop loss was below the swing low. Uh, so I was risking, let's see, stop loss here, 18, we'll call it 18,800. I was risking about eight points to the downside uh, for about 12 points to the upside. So a little over a 1-1, nothing too crazy, um, but I felt confident about it, so I was willing to take it. And that was just a quick scalp off the open. I only took, you know, maybe a minute or two to, to have that trade completely play out. From there, um, on both NQ and ES, uh, this was a really nice move. Uh, so this bounce down here, and this is something that you could have seen uh, higher time frame because we had some bounces in here. We held this area support, um, came down, also formed that hammer down there. That was that was a really really nice entry. I missed this, um, but this pullback here would have been a nice entry for long. Uh, but essentially, we just kind of stayed in a range. You can see that we were just kind of bouncing back and forth, maybe about like a 20, 25 point range. So definitely enough to scalp and make money. Um, ES was a little bit more of a mess. If we look in here, it was uh, it was chopping about like a three point range back and forth. So a little bit a little bit harder, which is why I didn't take any trades on ES. 
the second trade that I took on in Q, uh, once I saw that we were just pretty much staying in this range, was I grabbed a call when we came down here. Um, so when we came down and tested, you can see on this lower time frame, we bounced here, bounced here, bounced here, you know, bounced over here. We were kind of holding in here. Uh, so when we came down, I got into a call or a long position. Um, now, initially, what I was hoping is I was grabbing a call and trying to take it up back towards this range for about a 15 point play. I set my stop below this swing low here and it came extremely close. So I think we got maybe about like a point, point and a half or so away from stopping me out on this, on this move down. I had about a four point stop. So I entered right around 8.05 um, and my stop was, you know, about 800 or so. About a five point stop, looking for about 15 points. The upside, my take profit was at uh, 8.19, so right in here. However, I didn't get the full move out of this. Uh, so once we started chopping around in here, uh, it was taking a little bit longer. As you can see, I entered around like 8.43 as we were chopping around in here, it was about 8.56. So, you know, 13 minutes of kind of sideways action. We weren't really making any hires, higher moves. Um, so I just exited market because I had a good fill. My fill was down in here. Uh, I still had a, you know, about a 10 point win on this. So. Just exited market and then immediately after we came up and would have hit my take profit and then even set new highs on the day. So um, this trade was all right. It was really more just recognizing the range that we were trading in and then just playing it based on price action. So could have squeezed out a few more points on this one. Could have squeezed out a little bit bigger win for sure. Uh, but it was two wins on the day, two pretty quick wins. Uh, first one was about two minutes. The second one took about 13, but... Uh, nonetheless, two trades, two wins, small scalps. Like I said, this morning was a little, I mean, you can trade the range, but it was just, wasn't the greatest price action to trade. We had a lot more movement, uh, in the afternoon. You can see a lot of, a lot of this movement, uh, really reacted well to these zones as well. You can see, you know, coming down, find some support here, breaking, bouncing off the top of this zone, rejecting off this, you know, finding support down here, kind of incrementally making our way up. So bit more volume, bit more price action down in here. That's, that's what we'll be hoping for, uh, the rest of the week, hopefully. And especially with Nvidia's earnings out. So you see this gap up after, after hours, um, that's Nvidia popping off. So should be an interesting day tomorrow, right around all time highs. Um, it'll make for an interesting setup, but that's all I got. Thank you for watching. I do trade live Monday through Friday, so I'll be here feel so inclined, stop by. would love to have you join. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. Peace.